This is the age-specific homicide offending rates. Where this peaks is, guess what, it's between 18 and, and 20. Th those, are the, those are the ages that, again, that this, uh, the places with the stricter standards set it at 21. What, what I think makes most sense from a public policy, public safety perspective is thinking about more prohibiting conditions but not lifelong. If you're getting into a lot of problems in your younger years, this is where a lot of problems occur. If, if you've shown for a while that you're not offending, your, your risk later in life is, is really substantially less. So I think thinking about age, when we think about this from a public uh, safety perspective, makes a lot of sense. And I think it's interesting to ask ourselves a question, which is more dangerous in the hands of 18 to 20 year olds, uh, a can of beer or a handgun? We start to talk about guns. And typically there's a lot of emotion, a lot of shouting, and you get um, what can conveniently be sort of categorized as people into two camps. One saying guns don't kill people, people do. It's really about people who are evil or mentally disturbed. And another group who just really hates guns and thinks we have too much of them and the problem is guns. That's a somewhat interesting debate. We can have it if you want. In my opinion, it's kept us very confused and uh, preventing us from really looking at useful solutions. So what I argue for is to shift our conversation and focus on more productive policy debates.